All right, guys, welcome back to Our World Outdoors. So today we're at a permit-only state nature preserve. The name of it is? Saltpeter Caves. All right, so Saltpeter Caves, um, you have to have a permit. So you go on to the website for the state nature preserves or the Ohio State website, and uh, you gotta apply for a permit. Now the permit, usually they ask that you do it 14 days before you wanna take your trip. We got ours back the next day, but I did it, what was it? A year ago, and I tried to do it for seven days ahead, and they flipped out on me and wouldn't issue me a permit. And they said, you must plan 14 days in advance. So it depends on who you're dealing with on the other end, I guess. Yeah. Um, you can fax it in and email it in. There's a couple different ways, but do the process, because I promise you, we can't tell you how to get here for one, but I promise you get caught back here, which a lot of these have rangers by them or, um routinely patrol them yeah there's there's a lot of different things but if you get caught without a permit in one of these it's 12 to 1500 dollars fine and do not go off trail yeah stay on trail Very for important. sure you don't you don't want to get these fines because them rangers will they're told this is a private kind of thing if you damage that ecosystem they can prove it you're done so enough of that i'm really excited though because these caves are supposed to be big for around here yeah they're supposed to be pretty good so we're going to get going here and we'll come back when we get to the first sign. So guys, the light is blinding me, but I'm glad we brought it because this place is massive. So what we're going to do is just to try to give you some kind of scale because it's huge. I'm going to put this by the entry and we're going to go explore way back there. So you see how small we get to give you an idea of perspective of size. And then when we're done, I'll come back and get the camera and take you guys way back here to the back too.
Your friendly neighborhood bat just hanging out. Let's leave him be. He's not hurting anything. We're not going to bother him. I actually had the camera zoomed in, so we weren't that close to him. So it is pretty amazing back there. I don't know how well the shot came out, but there is actually, I think they're just aged bats that are now saltpeter crystallized. Yeah. So like a bat died hanging there and the saltpeter dripped down around it and crystallized it. It's actually and pretty. I don't know what the... Crickets. Think, crickets were they? It's cave crickets. Cave crickets, cool. Yeah. If you guys like this cave content, please let us know because we like this hate this hike slash cave content. If you guys do too, we might do more of it. Wow, this is crazy. Let me get you guys turned around. Just another example of nature finds a way. That tree is strapped all to that boulder in all different ways. And that's our trail. And that's what happens if you get off trail. That's about a 100, 150 foot drop. It don't look like it on camera, but it is. So we took a left when we came to the split, when we came into this spot. Then we went through that cave that has the two entrances. You're gonna to wanna to come out the other entrance and keep walking the edge of the ridge, but that's wrong. You come down here to the bottom, go to the bottom cave, then you have to double back and go the other way around to get to the other caves. So, just so you know. So we explored that whole side over there. Wasn't a whole lot more to film. Now we're back at the original split. And we're going to go the other way around up on top. Wow, so this is cave number two that we've came across. I don't know if it's actually cave number two, but it's the second one we've came across that was this big. But this thing is just massive. You would not believe that these caves were here. You'd never know it. Um, but I mean, they're on the lines of competing with old man's caves. I mean, awesome. I can't even say how much, and I'm sure the video is not really gonna show how big these are or how exciting they are. They definitely have impressed me.
All right, first thing I'm gonna tell you is make sure you bring a light when you come here because you'll want to explore, but let me turn you around and show you what I see. Guys, this is crazy. Now you gotta watch your head on the ceiling because there very well could be bats. I don't see any. Huh? Oh yeah, there is. But, let's keep our voices down so we don't bother them. My mic will pick us up real loud, it'll be fun. But, bring your headlamps because you would not be able to see back here at all without them. I actually have a ring light on the GoPro just for this trip. I wanted to make sure that those of you that can't get out to these spots get taken on a good adventure with us. Just to show you how massive this is, look at that. Let me walk up here so you guys can see how big this is. I'm telling you, this, this will keep up with Old Man's Cave, guys. Look at that. That's huge. so we didn't you know film tons and tons of content on here I know it's kind of choppy but when you're kind of in awe just like when you're at camp with a bunch of people hanging around talking you don't really focus as much on camera work um, uh, this blew my mind this is way beyond what I had expected this is amazing this, I can see why they keep it as a permit only yeah I mean this is crazy this these caves will rival Old Man's Caves, if not being deeper than Old Man's Caves. They go way back. Um, I have seen no one else here today. We are here on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, get the permit and come, guys. And for those of you that aren't real good at doing high miles, this is maybe uh, a mile right. altogether. Mm -hmm. That's in and out a mile. But make sure you give yourself time because this is no half an hour trip no you're gonna want time to explore the caves and be able to really check them out yeah take your time watch your footing they've got steps i mean don't don't overexert yourself because it is 
a little up and down, but they have it set up real easy. Um, Make sure you follow all the directions of the state nature preserves for permits. No pets. That's another thing. It was big on the sign down there. Huge sign posted, no pets. Um, and also be aware you're sharing this with wildlife. Like I said, when you go in, take your light, turn it on, look up before you go in because there's a lot of bats and there's some cave crickets. You know, there's, there's wildlife that doesn't need to be disturbed. This is a state nature preserve. This is their space and we're just visiting. So let's try and keep, you know. And I just wanna say, I am very thankful for the privilege to be able to visit this place. Take the time to come out, get the permit, do it right, come here and enjoy it. And we hope that you like the video. We hope that you can uh, appreciate these smaller state nature preserves the way we do. And I think that uh, we're going to have to explore some more. Yes, we are. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification. That way you'll see all of our upcoming videos. Yep. And from our world outdoors to you, we hope you have a great hike and a great experience and come out and enjoy nature. We'll see you in the next one.